Today we're talking about IRS Form 9465, Installment Agreement Request Form. This is a pretty simple form, but we've got a few pointers for you that will make filling out the 9465 even easier. Tip number one, what is IRS Form 9465 and when should I use it? IRS Form 9465 is a collections form, meaning it's only useful if your client owes back taxes to the IRS. Specifically, Form 9465 is used when setting up an installment agreement or payment plan on behalf of your client. However, there are several reasons that you should not use the Form 9465 even when setting up an installment agreement for a client. If your client owes less than $50,000, don't use the 9465. Instead, use the IRS's online payment agreement tool, sometimes called OPA, for a faster, smoother experience. If your client currently owns a business, don't use the 9465. Potential complications such as overdue payroll taxes are more than the 9465 is designed to handle. Instead, get in contact with the IRS and they'll get you started filling out a Form 433-D. In other words, if your client has a tax debt of more than $50,000 and doesn't own a business, Form 9465 is the right installment agreement form for you. Tip number two, ditch the pen. One of the most surefire ways to get any form rejected is to submit something illegible. IRS employees don't have time to try to figure out if you wrote a 1 or a 7, and if they can't read it, they're likely to reject it. Even if you don't use software like Canopy to automatically fill out your 9465, all of the forms are on the IRS website and they're editable PDFs that you can fill out right in your browser, no software required. Tip number three, how much do you put on line 11A? Most of the fields on the 9465 are self-explanatory and don't require any explanation. However, line 11A instructs you to enter the amount you can pay each month, which means you have a choice to make. How much? Option number one is the minimum. The IRS sets the sort of minimum monthly payment at the tax debt divided by 72. So if your client owes $64,800, the minimum monthly payment would be $900. Option number two, more than the minimum. The IRS doesn't mind if your client pays off their debt in less than 72 months. In fact, they like it a lot. If your client has the ability, paying more than the minimum will not only clear their debt faster, but will help reduce the amount your client will have to pay in penalties and interest in addition to their debt. Option number three, less than the minimum. It's not ideal, but the IRS will still grant an installment agreement even if the most your client can pay is less than their debt divided by 72. However, you will need to submit a collections information statement, Form 433-F, along with the 9465. So let's recap. Use Form 9465 to set up an installment agreement for a client who owes more than $50,000 and doesn't own a business. Your form should always be easy to read. If you don't use software to automatically fill out your 9465, use your computer to fill the form out online. The minimum for the monthly payment of an installment agreement is the client's debt divided by 72. Paying more than the minimum will help lessen the penalties and interest, and paying less than the minimum will require a Form 433-F along with your installment agreement request. That's it. Please like and subscribe to be notified of new content. Also, let us know in the comments if you have questions about this form or requests for forms that you'd like to see us cover in the future. You know what's easier than watching form videos on YouTube? Letting Canopy fill out the forms for you. Click now to get automated form filling with your free trial of Canopy.